Hey guys, good morning. Uh, I woke up bright and early for this one. This is gonna be a good one, okay guys? So, uh, as I mentioned in some of my videos prior to this one, uh, there was something new coming to the studio. And this is it, it's here. So you guys are gonna enjoy unboxing this beast, or bad boy, um, with me today, okay? So, uh, woke up early, because it's the quiet time in my house. When I wake up early, everybody's still sleeping, I can get shit like this done, all right, guys? So, <laughs> um, so hey, oh, anyway, actually, before I even get started, um, I wanted to kind of just briefly uh, mention about all this COPPA, um, COPPA, you know, FTC bullshit that's going on right now. Um, obviously, my channel is not a huge channel, but this is affecting a lot of big, bigger channels, like some of the people that I watch, all the RC channels, especially the gaming channels, stuff like that. I don't watch gaming channels, but if you guys don't know already, um, I'll put the link or a couple links in the description of uh, the details of what's going on with the FTC and the fines with YouTube and whatnot, which is basically going to affect every everybody essentially um and so if you don't know click on one of those videos and educate yourself uh but i am going to say this um i marked all my videos as uh ma not made for kids so you have to mark them either made for kids or not for kids and um there's a gray area but you know what at the end of the day uh this is an rc channel rc gas powered fifth scale they're, they're not toys to me i mean i joke with my wife and i say yeah all my toys in the garage let me clean up my toys sure but i'm an adult and i play with with these uh rcs the, the trucks and stuff which those of you who are rc fanatics you know that these are not toys for kids all right so i mean i'm, I'm just gonna go continue putting uh, my videos out. I haven't seen a lot of RC guys. In fact, I've only seen two of the people that I watch who, are, who have RC channels actually mention something about this. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here, and again, I'm not a big channel, so I have not gotten anything in my email stating that I'm you know, threatening me or whatever, but I'm, I, I intend to continue my channel and continue to post and uh, say not made for kids. All right, so if you're a kid and you're watching this right now, get the fuck off. No, I'm just kidding, it's a joke. But uh, anyway, without further ado, let's do this unboxing, okay, guys? Uh, all right, so I did mention about this before. Uh, I just recently bought a boat um, a couple a month ago, two months ago. Uh, you guys seen that in one of my videos or some of my videos, and I got into the RC boat. It's like a new area for me, right? So I started learning a whole bunch. I started going out to the lake and uh, I met all the guys, super knowledgeable guys who have been doing it for 20 years, 20 plus years. Um, one of those guys basically said, hook me up with this here, okay? So this guy basically builds these from like scratch, from bottom, from bottom up, okay? And so he knows what he's doing. So uh, let me unbox this for you. Let me see if I. You know what? Let's just. Uh, what do we do? You know what? There you go. There you go. Woo! Look at this thing. Now that's a true unboxing, guys. That's how you unbox. Now, this is a four-foot boat. So it's the same size as the other one. So let me. Uh, I'll bring the camera in a little closer, so you guys can see. But. Um, I'll be honest with you, as you can already tell, I just put that box on top of there. I was trying to play around right now, but I took this boat out already, and I'm going to do a running video. This thing's a beast, man. Uh, the guy who hooked it up with this boat, it, he takes care of his boats. Like, I mean, I took it out, a little bit of grease got around there, and he's like, yeah, you need to clean it. So the engine here is a 29.5 cc, fully mod, okay? There's a, a pipe here that he installed. Uh, it looks like everything here is basically pretty, pretty good stuff, man. Um, the other boat is a uh, catamaran, right? That one was pretty good. I still have it, of course, but this one here is a monohull, and I like this. I've always wanted this since I was a kid. So let me, let me bring the camera a little closer so you guys can see. So 
see. There you go. So what I did, um, when he, when I got the boat, all I needed was a, a receiver and a transmitter. So I, I have a whole bunch of transmitters, obviously, from my trucks and the other boat and whatnot. And I have a whole bunch of Spectrum receivers laying around. So I just happen to have a whole bunch, right? And some guys say that the Spectrum receivers are not good with boats. Knock on wood. <laughs> I have not had any trouble. All right. It, it's fine. Look, the antenna comes out right here. Just fine. Okay. And uh, all the electronics are in here. We installed the receiver in there. Uh, and then you guys can see the motor. Here's it. Like I said, it's a 29.5 cc. Here's a carburetor. And that's it, man. This thing hauls ass. I mean, this is a badass boat. And I kind of like the touch, the, the color here, purple. It's kind of cool. It looks a little like retro. And uh, this is, uh, I'm not really, oh, here it is. 7016 prop. Now, I don't want to mess with the prop and, you know, put different ones on. At least, I mean, this guy had this boat for a long time. So I'm sure this is the good, the, the right prop for this boat here. So I'm not even going to mess with this. But this one over here as you guys remember this boat here has an aluminum prop which i believe we can um upgrade this we'll see okay and as i mentioned before too this needs to be elevated but uh we're not here to talk about that but we're here to talk about this boat i'm gonna do a running video i think next week the lake has been closed here in california at least the one that i go to has been closed because there is some uh sort of algae or some toxic thing growing and and they said uh yeah we're, we're gonna close the lake for, for until further notice it's been about two three weeks and i've been going to a different lake but as soon as they open that lake up i think after thanksgiving which is next weekend i think it's going to be open and I will put a GoPro on here. And I will make a running video on this one. This one goes really fucking fast, man. So, yeah. I'll pop it on, too, so you guys can, can hear the engine. But I don't like to cold start it. But this thing is nicely tuned. All you need to do is just pull it one time. And it just turns on. It's beautiful, man. Like I said, the guy who had this took care of his shit, and uh yeah let, let's let's see it run N not in water but i'm just gonna like at least turn it on so you guys can hear it all right got my transmitter on first obviously and i like this little the way that the switch it's inside the box but this you pull it out to turn it off and you push it in to turn it on it's kind of cool i've never seen that before so there you go now we're on Yep, look at that. It's cool. I like how it's offset. And uh, yeah, so of course this, this is a right turning boat. It can probably turn left very slowly, but I wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> Especially for a boat this goddamn expensive. So yeah, it's a right turning boat and it turns super smooth. It's kind of hard to flip this thing over. You guys will see when I, when I post the video, but yeah, let's get this sh fucking shit on. There's no clutch, which is, I kind of prefer clutches, but in this case, I liked it because I just, you know, you, you throw the boat in the water and it's already going, you hit throttle and it really hauls ass. This thing is really nice. Uh, I'll make a video of the footage on board and when i take it out to the lake next week or two weeks from now
nice, very nice, guys. Very nice. I can't wait for you guys to see what the hell this is gonna do at the lake. Next week, I'm taking this out for sure. 